Hello and welcome to the Archie Luxury Luxury Channel. Today, potential of luxury watches. And uh, this is something that's quite amazing because I was talking to a, a couple of dealers I know and one of my dealer friends is a multi-millionaire and uh, he cannot believe what has happened to the watch market since the global financial crisis. Now let's just recap. Since the global financial crisis, uh, prices have fallen for some very high-end luxury watches. That's some of the very rare Rolexes, like the Daytonas, the really rare, I'm not talking modern Daytona, I'm talking the vintage Paul Newman, things like that there, the Comex dive watches. Some of the prices there have flattened a bit. That's the very upper echelon. But, quality good watches, they have actually risen. And what I mean by that is, I'll give you an example. I bought a 16233 Rolex Datejust. It's a two-tone Datejust with a factory diamond dial. I bought off him um, about 2007, and I, and I bought it off him. It was, it was an L serial number, holds case. It was just over the 3,000 US dollar mark. Now, I was talking to him the other day. I said, any two-tone with diamond dial? And he, he was quoting me around the four to four and a half thousand mark. So what's actually happened is prices have gone crazy. The global financial crisis, yes, real estate's in the shitter, yes, shares are in the shitter, but watches, it's amazing. Now my friend is based in uh, Asia, he does a lot of work uh, with Hong Kong dealers, Singaporean dealers, Thai dealers, and what he said to me is he said, the Chinese have come in and are buying ferociously. So, so let's have a look at that. Now, he's not talking about, you know, we're talk, not talking about the $100,000 pieces. We're talking about pieces that average people can save up and buy. So we're talking, uh, we're talking Sapphire, Datejust Rolexes, Sports Rolexes, you know, the Steel, GMT, Explorers. Quality stock, he said to me, is going up in price. And um, this is quite an amazing thing because we've had the global financial crisis and that's fucked the real estate market, the share market, the currencies, but <clears throat> watches themselves are, have they've got a great upside there. So if you're a savvy investor, what, what would you be buying? Okay, so, so, so what the best thing to buy is, you want to buy iconic pieces. Now these are any pieces which have a good history, a good the brand name pieces so that's what you'd want to buy iconic pieces I've made a video if you search through my other videos the 10 iconic pieces of all times uh, any of the Holy Trinity members so it's Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, Vacher and Constantine they're good buys um, quality brands Cartier is a great brand Rolex, uh, Omega be careful which models of Omega it's mainly the iconic Omega so some Connie's uh, the Speedmaster Man on the Moon type pieces. Uh, anything Patek is valuable. Uh, now the thing is too, always be on the lookout. A lot of people hate quartz pieces, but if it's from a fantastic brand, say a Royal Oak Audemars Piguet, and you buy that, I'd rather buy a two-tone Audemars Piguet Royal Oak instead of a automatic two-tone Datejust Rolex. I mean, the Audemars is just such a strong, prestigious brand. So there are some bargains there. And what's happening is the watch market throughout the world, talking to dealers, prices aren't going down. They're going up. Now, don't forget too, the US dollar is in the shitter. It's, uh, it, 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 so sometimes for the American collectors, it looks like prices have gone up so much when it's actually just a reflection of their dollar being so hammered. But um, look, my best advice to all collectors there is buy good watches. Iconic. You, you know, so, so, so you, you know, what, what 10 top pieces would I say are, are iconic pieces? Well, you protect Calatravas, you'd be looking at your, your Jager La Coltra Reversos, uh, Jager La, La Coltra Master Controls. You'd be looking at your Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. You'd be looking at your um, anything Vacheron would be cool. Uh, you'd be looking at any any good 
good pieces for a Rolex, so you'd be looking at Submariner Rolexes. These can be sapphire or plastic. Uh, probably more upside in the sapphire ones at the moment, because the the plastic would would be reflecting a, a high premium. So so Rolex sapphire sports, Rolex sapphire anything is good. Um, you'd also want to be looking at your Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon type pieces. You'd also be looking at things like Cartier Santos, Cartier Panthers. <clears throat> They're excellent buying. They've got some really good upside there. You'd be looking at other iconic pieces like a, a Lange, anything super quality like that, like a Lange uh, one, uh, Vacher and Constantine uh, dress watches, Audemars Piguet ultra thin, anything like that would be very, very, very uh, you've got a great upside on those sort of pieces there. Other other great pieces that you could uh, buy safely. Uh, as long as you bought them well, you'll always make money on these type of pieces. You would have to include so, so any any Rolex date just now. This is the thing. Sapphire date just in good condition are going up. The Chinese market is going ballistic, and this is the whole thing. The upside of these pieces here is huge. And uh, I've already seen it with some of the pieces in my collection. Prices are going up. So anything in nice condition, you want to get it, get a piece, you want to get it serviced, you want to get any anything that's wrong with it, um, you want to get it, it fixed and polished and make it as presentable as possible. I try and stay away from anything that's had a redone dial. Try and stay away from. You really want original. You don't want fucked with. You want original pieces for investment potential. That's what you're you're really really looking for. Cartier tanks are another classic. It's an 18k Cartier tank. They must have an upside there. They are uh, bargain buys. So just talking to watch dealers around the traps. Prices are rising, uh, and 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 I think to be honest with you, the shrewd collector investor can really make a good killing on it there. Buy good pieces. By iconic pieces, pieces which won't be worth much. I don't think there's much going to be much upside to tag Hoyers. I think Panerai is possibly. I'm not a. I'm not a Panerai fan. I think Panerai is really just marketing hype and bullshit. I would be very careful buying Panerais. I think that's a bubble that could it could explode at any time. Frank Muller is another brand I'd be very very careful of. I don't. I don't like. Um, those new, you want established houses, that's my opinion, established houses. Stay away from Tag Heuer, that's just marketing bullshit. Panerai, I also would be very, very careful of. Uh, but where you're going to make money is classic pieces that everyone wants. Those iconic watches I've mentioned are always highly in demand. Especially you, buying Rolex and Patek Philippe, you really can't go wrong. Um, I'd, I would be looking at best investment potential would not be brand new uh, Rolexes. I'd be looking at 10 to 15 years old. Like I've just got a early 90s Explorer 2 white dial. Holes case, non-flip lock bracelet. That's That's got some great uh, investment potential there because it's just such a nice classic watch. Great upside. That type of piece there in nice condition. Had it professionally polished, pe pe serviced, all ready to go. That's got a great upside. Those pieces there are great buying. I hope this investment advice is good. And and please, if you make a bit of a killing there, why don't you flick Archie a small donation for my advice? There you go. Give a little bit of a give a bit back to Archie. Explorer ones I think are great buying. They're a little bit small by modern standards, but I tell you what, an Explorer one Sapphire. That's a model 14270. I don't think you can buy them cheaper than they are now. They're a great buy, and um, I think that they've got much, much upside to them there. I tend to be buying pieces with, which are, you know, not the absolute latest because you're going to be paying high money, but a piece that's 10 to 15 years old is still a very nice piece, and it's got huge upside. I'd rather have two 15-year-old pieces than one three-year-old piece. That's my opinion. This is to make the most <clears throat> out of the, the coming Chinese market explosion. And um, the thing is, they always get beautiful condition. The dial is the most important thing on the watch. That is like the, the face 
of the piece and uh, e even pieces like like a Rolex Oyster Quartz now now be careful with Oyster Quartz any quartz one that goes wrong is big money to fix but a good condition Oyster Quartz Rolex Oyster Quartz they're getting very collectible they're not made anymore and uh, just just remember it was pieces like the Explorer one <clears throat> the the Milgauss they weren't the production numbers were falling off and they stopped making them and that's when they became very valuable Rolex Oyster Quartz is a classic piece. It's got the integrated type bracelet. It's just it's just so unusual and different and it's got collector potential written all over it. Buy good pieces. Don't buy the dogs. Buy good, nice pieces. Pieces that haven't been over polished. Pieces that, that you can put a little bit of investment into them and make and present them very well. I think there's huge upside. The next couple of years, I think with the Chinese explosion, the economies are going through the shitter. Watches will go through the roof and uh, let's let's be honest now if, you, if you're in America if you want to buy a two-tone Rolex Datejust you're looking at about ten thousand dollars US that's right ten thousand dollars for a two-tone Rolex and I mean sub a steel sub or steel GMT or a steel Explorer 2 you're not getting much change at a ten thousand dollars either so I mean the the pieces themselves that's got to have a carry-on effect to the older models and this is the whole thing you don't have to just buy rare Patex Rolexes they've got huge potential and uh, obviously Patex have, have got always got good potential as well but I think the world you're going to see quality watches is a chance to make a bit of a killing there on it and I think you know, you got to go in this with the right mindset. You buy pieces that you love and that you like. You're not just doing it solely for money. But I mean, there's going to—I think there's going to be some huge upside. I'm already seeing swing on some pieces here. And um, if you had the pleasure of wearing it for a while, wow, how much more wonderful experience can you get than that? So there you go. That's Archie's advice. Watches, I think, are going to pose a great investment with the Chinese market exploding. Everything's gone ballistic. And uh, there's some there's some wonderful pieces you can buy now, and sell later and enjoy in the meantime. And this is the the wonderful thing about wristwatches is that it's not just the the uh, when you sell it where you make the profit. It's the fact that you get to use it, enjoy it, appreciate it now. It's one of the few investments where you actually get some 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 enjoyment out of it. It's not just a piece of paper or a stock price. So that's my advice there. <laughs> And uh, I think if you make a few wise purchases, you're going to be able to make a bit of money or you're going to have a beautiful collection for yourself. So that's the Archie advice. Watches are going to be a great investment. I think you're probably looking about five to ten years and uh, prices will, I think, you know, it's hard to say what happens after that. But those classic brands, if you've got some good stock of classic brand pieces there can only be an upside and um, this is the wonderful thing with wrist wristwatches is that they've got a potential they're so portable they're, they're just such a wonderful thing to behold and to have and um, let let Archie know how you go there if you make a lot of money out of it just let Archie know and Archie will um, will certainly appreciate any donations from huge gains that you've had follow Archie's advice make big money and give Archie a small tip uh, Archie accepts PayPal and uh, the world will be happier. Thanks very much and uh, keep watching my videos. Bye-bye.